Hello there, it's Brian again from Exit Lash Ball Widgets. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video to reply to uh, DJ Hesh, who posted a request on the forum. Um, hello, I've got a new issue. I've got the spreadsheet here. I've looked at your tutorial on YouTube, but when connecting the traffic light widget to the calculations page, it's not making the active light glow. Um, instead, it creates a small um, circle next to it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, what we've done is we've, we've asked uh, DJ Hesh to, to upload the, um, the, uh, the dashboard he's having trouble with, the, the widget he's tra having trouble with, and as, as always, it's a lot easier to help people out um, with, a, with a small video um, showing them how to solve their problems. So, uh, so here we go. Um, and apologies as well, DJ Hesh, for taking a while to get back to you. Um, we've, been, uh, we've been a little bit busy these last couple of days. So uh, so here goes. Um, I've just downloaded uh, your your dashboard here um, and this is the um, this is the document you've sent. This is your dashboard configuration page um, um, calculations page um, and some other key performance indicators um, and calculations. I can see from your dashboard what you're trying to do is you're trying to have at the moment three widgets. Uh, this traffic light widget um, you've got an up-down um, trend widget and a, uh, a thermometer widget on the end. Um, now, immediately, I can see um, some of the problems that uh, that, that you have here um, and that other people have had as well, um, which happens in versions of Microsoft Excel uh, prior to Excel um, 2010. Which is basically when you copy and paste the the widget into a new workbook, um, what happens is you can see it exactly here. You can see this if you look at the the up down arrow of the up down um, widget, it reverts the font size. Um, you can see up here font size ten, back to the configurations in your normal dot uh, dot template. So to be able to remedy that, all we have to do is go back to the original. Let's go down to the up down trend widget here, for example. Um, and all we need to do is to uh, to look at what was the original font size um, and then select the Excel objects in the new worksheet and just make it exactly the same. So um, the best way to do this is if you go on the home tab, go along the ribbon down the end to find and select and hit the selection pane, which is right on the bottom. And the selection pane, what it does is it shows you um, exactly what it says. Uh, um, it shows you all of the shapes on this sheet. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. Um, so let's just go and we'll hit the grouping, which is the up-down trend widget, J. And this up-down trend widget is made of, of, of four, five, in fact, um, Excel objects. So the first one, if I click it, is the, is the title text this one here. The second one is the main value. The third one is this up-down um, triangle. The fourth one is the percent change, whether it's negative or positive. And the fifth one, the fifth one is a rectangle. So for example, if we take um, uh, the main value, you'll see up in the corner it's 55, um, it's, uh, 55 points. So what we need to do is to go to your new dashboard and do exactly the same thing. Let's just open that uh, up down widget. There's the main value selected. So this is now 10 because um, for some reason, I have absolutely no idea why in early, earlier versions of Excel it resets everything back to 10. We just need to make that 55. Press return. Um, and there it is at 55. And I believe it's bold as well, if I remember rightly. Bold. Um, the same thing, let's select the up-down triangle here. Let's go back and see what size that should have been. Go back to the other dashboard. That up-down rectangle should have been 78. Um, so let's go back and just make that 78. Click the up-down in, in the new uh, dashboard. That should be 78. There we go. Um, now you seem to be missing values for your um, your percent change and your main title. If I just click main title, for example, um, let's link that. Press equals 
to the main title you've given on your configuration page, which is um, this cell here, R5. Um, and let's go to the percent change, um, which should be linked to your calculation. Um, the up down value that's being calculated. Uh, what have you done here? Up down symbol. Now, let's go back and just look at the original version. Um, that's the percent change there. That's linked to cell um, F162, so that's on the configuration page. Okay, let's go back here. This one here should be linked to the configuration page, not the calculation page. Um, and here it is, up down widget. So it's increased. The value is one hundred twenty-four thousand um, dollars. The previous value was one hundred and one thousand. It's gone up by twenty-one percent. Um, there we go. So that's the that's the up down widget um, configured for you. Let's go across to the um, to the uh, thermometer widget. Here, exactly the same thing. Everything everything everything's gone back to font size ten. Um, on the uh, selection pane, let's close down the up down widget. We'll go to the thermometer. Open it up. The main text, um, did you want to call it PIF? Let's just go to the configuration page, um, across to the thermometer widget. Yes, you wanted to call it PIF. Um, the font size doesn't look right to me. You have a font size here of 20. Let's go back to the original and see what font size we had. Um, the font size over here in the original version was 24 um, and it was bold, Arial RI bold. So let's just make that the same for you, 24 and bold. Um, of course you can make it any any font size you want, you can make it any font you want. Um, okay, so that's the main title, the percent value change. That looks way too small compared to the original. This one was 60. Um, again, Arial RI and bold. Let's change yours to the same. 60. Bold. There we go. Let's just check that value. 105.6. Make sure that's the value you wanted. 105.6%. Um, okay. If that's what you want. Um, anyway, I'm going to do. I'm going to make that slightly larger for you so it shows the percent value there. I'm going to move that across as well. There we are. Now the up-down arrow on the bottom. Again, in the original version, it is uh, font size 130. So let's change that back to 130 for you. Um, and I would change the main title text a little bit larger. Let's make that 36. Um, the, the bulb value we have over here at um, Aerial RI 30. Let's change that to the same. There we go. Aerial RI 30. I think Aerial RI is just Aerial, to be honest with you. But anyway. Aerial 30. Um, there we go. Let's just check that the, um, the the thermometer is working. Obviously, it's gone over 100%, so we need to change the scale as well. But let's just go to my configuration page. Let's just change this to... Um, I'll change it back in a second. Uh, say 94%. Let's go back to the dashboard. Yes, it's linked and it's gone down. Let's just do it to 50%. Um, there we go. 50%. Perfect. I'll undo those changes for you. Um, actually we should change the scale on this percent um, on the mercury because it's gone over 100% so let's just select the chart uh, in the right hand panel. Um, see if I can get the scale selected. Right hand click format that axis and let's go to 110% for you. Close. There we go. 
Um, so that's the uh, thermometer widget fixed. Let me just check that the up down widget is is working for you. Got the configuration page with the up down widget you've put over here. Um, let's say that the previous value uh, was um, okay. The current value is lower than the previous value. Let's say fifty thousand, which looks like a drop of about yeah fifty one percent. Let's check the dashboard. Um, the current value, yep, yeah, it's gone down 51%. Um, so that's working for you. Okay, now we come to the the traffic light on the end. Now the traffic light is obviously missing uh, the title. Traffic light, so let's go to the main title and link that for you. And just hitting uh, equals in the bar at the top, go to the configuration page. Um, so that's weekly sales. Um, the font size looks right. Um, now, basically, how this traffic light works, if you look at how the objects are grouped um, in the selection pane on the right hand side, you have traffic light 1, um, traffic light 2, traffic light 3, and traffic light 4. Um, let's work first with. Um, I can see your problems in traffic light 1, so let's work with traffic light 2. Um, so, traffic light 2. There's um, there's three lights here. Uh, the first one is the green on, which I'm selecting here, which I can immediately see is still connected to your your other um, the the unlocked version of the uh, Exodusable Widgets um, spreadsheet. So that needs to be linked uh, across to the cells on your My Calculation page. Um, so there's basically on each within each traffic light, there's these three lights: yellow and red. Um, and the uh, the rest, the other the other the um, the other objects there are just to um, uh, they're not actually dynamic objects. They're just there to um, uh, to make the traffic lights look pretty. So um, let's go first of all. Let's link these across to the to the values on the my calculations page. Um, so I can see you've, you've you've set up your my calculations page properly. Um, you've linked. Um, the values from the configuration um, correctly. Um, where's the? Uh, uh, these these are your four values for each of the the traffic lights over here. These are your um, color change values, um, which are right. Um, your first one is linked to F7 on the configuration page. Your second one is nicely linked. Um, if I change the values, for example, if I change your second traffic light. Um, at the moment, it's it's uh, um, it's above um, 90, so obviously it's red. Um, if I change it in the middle, if I look over here, um, it's red. This traffic light is red. This is a sort of graphic visualization of the red, yellow, and green. Your first traffic light is red. If I change it over here to, for example, um, 50. Now let's change one that's between. Let's have a yellow one, so 80, for example, here. Um, we come across to here, and it's it's yellow, amber in the middle. If we bring it back here, um, let's say 20, it's below the green to yellow cutoff value. Over here, it's green. So everything seems to be set up properly. It's just linking. It's the step two, linking these blue boxes to the traffic lights on the dashboard that you're having trouble with. Um, so let's um, let's do that right now. Let's link these four lights here to these um, blue cells here, um, giving a visualization of the of what the traffic light should look like. Um, so let's do the let's do the first traffic light. Um, let's do the the green this one here, green light on. I delete this link to an external um, workbook. So that's the green um, in the first one, which is this cell here. Let's go to the next one, the yellow light on. Let's link this over here. This is the yellow um, and the red. Let's link this to this red one. Let's do the second traffic light. Let's link the green. Green, which is this one. The yellow, which is this one, 
the red, which is this one. The third traffic light, the green, this one, the yellow, which is this one, um, and the red. This one, and finally the the last traffic light, the green. This one, yellow. Right, so the, the traffic lines are all linked. Um, so, for example, if I change, um, 20, let's change the second value to 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 yellow. The second second traffic light to yellow, um, and the third traffic light to um, to green. Go to the dashboard. The second traffic light has changed to yellow. The third one's to green. Let's change the third one to red. Um, be more than 100, 110. There we are, the third traffic light's turned to red. Now we have a problem for some reason when you copied and paste, when you copied and pasted yeah, the the first traffic light, for some reason the the red light, um, this top one, it's reset the font size back to size 10. Um, so that's red light on. Um, actually, it's gone back to 11 when it should be. If we look at the red light for the second one, I think it should be size 60. Um, yeah, it should be size 60. I've absolutely no idea why it's done that, so let's just put that back to size 60, and it should be red. Um, okay, let's set them all as green. Let's check, check they're all working now. Let's set them all as green. So 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, they're all green, that's fine. Let's set them all as yellow. 80, 80, 80, 80. All as yellow, they're working fine. Let's go set them all as red. Red, red. They're all as red. Um, there we go, did you hear? Um, I hope this helped. Get you unstuck a little bit. Um, again, as always, um, if you have any more questions, please post them in the forum and um, we'll do our best to uh, get back to you as quickly as possible. Again, apologies for the delay. Um, thanks a lot. Uh, until next time.